Hello everyone. Welcome to this another session of learning about various ICT tools to make the learning interactive and interesting. So today we'll learn about the mind maps. Mind maps are nothing but pictorial and simple representation of our whole topic so that whatever i am going to teach in my class can be represented to the students via sub branches like the branches of a tree so there are various softwares available for that the first that we would be learning in today's session is mind master so click on your browser mind master so this page would open edrawsoft.com we need to click on this and we'll wait for the page to open so we need to download it from here as i have already downloaded it so i'll show you how the icon would look this is how the icon would appear on your desktop or when you have downloaded it i'll click on this and i'll have the default page now here we have various free versions available with us you can see that radial map right map tree map organization chart map they are available to us without any subscription and there are certain pro versions for which i need to go for the subscription today we would be learning about the simplest mind map i'll click on radial map now this page opens and it asks me for the main idea that is the idea around which my topic would revolve suppose i take insurance and i want to add sub branches to it i know that the basic uh, division of insurance can be in the life insurance and general insurance so if i click on the border here you can see this plus sign and this plus sign is to add the branches i can also take it here i can simply just drag it now if i want to add uh, sub branches to life again i'll click on this plus sign and i'll write term i'll uh, write endowment again i'll click plus i'll write whole life i'll click on plus and i'll write ulips right similarly in case of general insurance also i can add the sub branches motor insurance health insurance travel insurance commercial insurance marine insurance so these are the various branches that i have now let us see what else can be added here these are the various options on this you can see on the right hand side and on the top suppose i want to add a clip art so i'll click on this clip art and here i need to click on this arrow so it will show me the various clip arts that are available i'll click on education and these are the clip arts that are available to me i can just drag any of these and some of them are free and some of them are paid so i'll need to check suppose this is paid so i'll just take it here you can take out this is also paid one so as soon as you click on any paid one it will show you that you need to upgrade so you cannot take it so all most of them are paid but this was unpaid so i selected that you can also select a picture so you can take a picture from your device suppose i take this so i can take this also here you can also add it to the main idea right so that depends upon you how you want to show this now let me again click here and here you can see that we have the various themes now in the themes also some of them are paid and some are free so let us click on this first one let us try which one is available it is not available with us let us see this is also not available there are very few which are available actually let us try this one right so this is available this is how the theme would change you can also change the font right so you can also change this font so all the font would be changed so you can take this right and you can also add these colors these rainbow colors so you can select these again the first one is available so i have selected this in the background i can change the background color also 
okay so you can change the background color and you can take this also in the background uh, you can take this wallpaper kind of a thing and you if you want to write anything like i want to add a watermark with my name so i can just click on that right and i can do that if you don't want it just press on control z so this is how you can add a basic uh, mind map and you can make learning interesting for the students here we have various other options like you can see that this is the mark if you click on this and suppose i want this symbol here so i'll click here and i'll click on the symbol so this symbol would come i'll again show you i simply click on the uh, branch that i want to insert any symbol so i'll just click on this similarly in general i'll click and then i'll go on second so this is how you can add various marks you can add the clip arts you can add various other things to your mind map to make it interesting now you can either download it as it is in the pdf format or you let us see how we can download it in the pdf format for that just click here and it shows you the various formats as to how you can download i'll click on this pdf format i'll just save it at the location where i want it to appear i'll click on okay and here if you want that the watermark shouldn't be there that it asks us for the upgradation but i don't want that i'm okay with the watermark so i'll click on export now when i export now this is how my mind map would appear which i can share with my students and make this learning fun thank you so much and i hope that you enjoyed this session